Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my October beauty and lifestyle favorites. I just recently posted the October book favorites for the book portion of this channel, so you can check it out up here if you want to see all of the book faves from October, but this is going to be beauty and lifestyle. I just have a few things, a few makeup products, and then a few random lifestyle things as well. So if you would like to see a few of my favorites from the past month, please keep watching. So the first thing that I want to mention is a book, but it was not a book that was mentioned in the October book favorites because I don't typically post these books on the Chiclet Plus page, but I still want to talk about it because in October, my publishing company, Marching Inc., released a new book. This is Perry in Progress, and this is by Kat Lavoie. And I do have a full video that I put out the day that it released, just talking about the book and my experience with publishing it, my experience with working with Kat, what the book's about, who I think should read it, which is all of you. But yeah, if you want to watch that video, I'll link it up here and in the description box below. But yes, this was definitely a favorite. This was the 12th book that my publishing company put out. So really proud of it. And we also have one releasing November 11th too. It's on pre-order right now. It's called All I Want for Christmas. It is a collection of holiday novellas, including a book from a novella from myself, from Kat, and then also two from Laura Chapman, who is another Marching Inc. author. She recently released the full-length novel, First and Goal. So exciting news in the month of October, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then two other lifestyle faves that I've been loving right now, like these are old school, but man, and it is just Jillian Michael workout DVDs. <sighs> so it's been getting colder. I haven't been able to do as many like walks with my dog. In the summer, we would typically go like four miles a day, sometimes even more. And it was just such a good workout to get in that I tend to cut back. I still do yoga every day, but I would cut back on like the other workout DVDs just because, you know, not only was I getting a workout in, but then I was taking so much time to be able to go on these walks. But now that it's getting colder, we're not being able to go for our walks as frequently or as long that we have been. So I've been relying on my DVDs to still be able to get my workout in. And my favorite ones from Jillian is the 30 day shred. And then also her yoga meltdown DVD. And she, I mean, if you guys are not familiar with Jillian Michaels, she's known as America's Toughest Trainer, and she really is. And these videos are just, they're super hard, I will say that. They are hard, but they work so well. When I do the 30-day shred and do it for 30 days, I do a workout every single day for 30 days. The results, I mean, are so, so noticeable. So I've been slowly dabbling in them, like days that we can't go on a walk, I'll do one or the other usually i'll just pick whichever one i want to do and do those but once we actually get in like the midst of the winter when i really can't get outside anymore then i'll do a firm schedule and do the 30-day shred add in some yoga the really good part of these is that they have different levels the 30-day shred i believe has three levels so you can choose which one you want to do it starts with one it gets progressively harder the yoga one has two different levels that you can choose to do and they also have like it's Jillian and then she has two girls doing the workouts with her and one is like the more beginner version and one is more advanced. So no matter who you are or where you're at, you can do these DVDs. You have your options that can be shown, you know, how to make it harder if a move is too easy for you and how to make that move easier if it's too hard for you. But they really do work. The 30 day shred, the workouts are 20 minutes, so it doesn't take long, but I mean, it's intense. Like you don't get a break, you're constantly doing something, but it is only 20 minutes. I think that's the same with the yoga meltdown. No, it's 30 minutes. So the yoga meltdown is 30 minutes, and it's not just like yoga. Like it's yoga moves, but it's also a lot of cardio with them, a lot of strength with them, a lot of holding the poses for like 15 seconds. It is very intense, but if you're looking for a good workout, especially to like keep you motivated in the winter, I definitely recommend checking out Jillian Things. I have one foundation that I want to talk about, and it is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. And I have it in the shade W5 Sand Beige Warm. Warm Sand Beige. This, I have had this for a while, but I have so many Maybelline foundations. Literally, I have 
the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I think I have two of the regular Maybelline Fit Me <laughs> foundations. I just, I love Maybelline, but especially their foundation. But then I also have this. And I've been grabbing it recently, and I really, I don't even know why. I was just like, oh, I'll, I'll just wear my L'Oreal today. And I put it on, and I'm like, why do I not wear this more often? It looks so beautiful. And especially, I feel like now that it's, we're getting into colder weather, I feel like my face, like, you can tell. Like, I, I don't feel like my skin looks as good. I don't feel like I have, like, luminosity to my skin anymore. And it's kind of bumming me out. I've been looking for products to try to help that out. I just got a facial not too long ago as part of my wedding anniversary present from my husband because I've been complaining about my skin and that sort of thing, but this definitely does help give you a glowy look. I'm sorry, my dog is sitting right next to me and she's whining. I don't know what's, what's wrong? You want to say hi to everyone? Maybe at the end you'll say hi, okay? I really do like this and it's drugstore so it's affordable you can get it at target at walgreens wherever but yeah just been really really happy with this one another product that i have is the nyx it's the micro brow pencil and this is also it's nyx so it's drugstore it's affordable but it's just a good eyebrow pencil and i believe it's supposed to be like a dupe for the anastasia pencil but it just has like product at one end i have the shade in blonde and then it has the spoolie on the other end I really like this guys. I'm not someone who does my eyebrows every day or even like every time I go out. I do have a Maybelline um, Master Brow Drama I think it is. It's just a gel that sometimes I'll put on my eyebrows. But I have pretty thick, pretty full eyebrows as it is. So I don't feel that I always have the need to have to do my eyebrows. But when I want to kind of like step up my game, I've been using this. And it did take me a, a few tries to feel like I got it right just because I've never done my eyebrows before but now that I feel like I'm getting the hang of it I really like it and I do feel like I can tell a difference in when I have the product on to when I don't I just feel like my whole face just kind of like looks better almost like it looks like lifted or something I don't know I really like it it's very affordable the next micro brow pencil if you are interested in getting into the eyebrow game Then I just have three makeup brushes to talk about and we are done. But I recently just filmed my first Morphe haul and I also gave a brush review. And I have three of those brushes that I want to talk about that have made it into my favorites. And it is the M439 foundation brush, the G2 pointed buffer, and the M427, the duo blush brush. So I mentioned all these in my Morphe video and why I like them. But the foundation brush, I just have been... I mean, I was using it solely to like review it, but even now that kind of like the review process is over, I keep finding myself reaching for it because it just is so soft on your face. It's so soft. I just, I really like it. Morphe is very affordable, so be sure to check out that video because I list all the prices in there. I have everything linked in that video and I'll link everything in this video as well. But the other one was the G2. This is the Point It Buffer. And this is what I use to buff out my under eye concealer and again so soft <laughs> I really love how soft these brushes are but I just think it works so well I can really get it around my whole eye when I have my concealer on my eye to prime my eyes it's so easy to use I like how it's pointed there so I can help sharpen up the wing if I need to I did not expect to like the G2 as much as I did I thought it would be a brush that I maybe used sometimes but I use it every day then the other one is the M427. This is the duo blush brush. This was one that I mentioned in the video, like when I first got it, I, I like my first impression was that I didn't really love it. And, but once I started using it, I, I, I just love it. I especially love it for my ColourPop blushes that have like the moussey type consistency. This works so, so well with them. So easy to use. I just have to do one quick swoosh of my blush and put it on. And I mean, this paired with the ColourPop blush that stays all day. It's just like okay, match. So that was my October beauty and lifestyle favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed my favorites. If you have any of the products that I mentioned, please do comment below. Or if you don't, or you just want to let me know what some of your October favorites were. I love watching these videos. I 
like when the beginning of the month comes around and all the favorite videos starts coming out I'm just like yes got to watch them all and I get so excited because I love watching them. If you haven't seen my Morphe haul, please do go check it out because I was very excited for that. Obviously, some of the brushes made it into my favorites. I do have a new ColourPop haul coming up. I'm going to film that shortly. I got new ultra matte lipsticks, like Chili Chili, that I got on my lips that I'm trying out. This is the first time I'm wearing it. I think it's a little darker than maybe I thought it was going to be, but you guys can let me know what you think of it. And I also got a few of their gel liners, like... The one on my top eyelid is Besto, and in my waterline is Crybaby. So I'm testing out all these products, so when I show you guys my haul, I can give some feedback as well on what I think on their new line, and then also on the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. That's coming up. You guys be sure to watch the Sephora VIB sale is coming up. I think it starts like today. I think it's like November 6th that it starts, I think. It could be the following week too. But I'm seeing YouTube all of a sudden blow up. Everyone's so excited. Everyone on Instagram is so excited. I'm so excited. I have a huge cart full of stuff on the Sephora website. So I will also be doing my Sephora VIB haul as soon as I have that ready. A strange truck has just pulled into my driveway with a man I don't recognize. So I'm going to go now and see what this is about. But I hope you guys all have a great day. Please do give this video a thumbs up before you go and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.